Hello, folks. We're back. Welcome back to Pillars of Eternity with Mal, and we just found ourselves into a cave. With double speed on. What's this? A low, lower level of the ruins has been blocked off by fallen rubble. That's bad. That also looks bad. Let's book it. In fact, let's sneak. Because I don't know what's going on at all. Head in his chest rises and falls visibly with each breath. That should be far enough. But what now? The storm has to die sometime. Who attacked us? Glanfathans? Uh, Glanfathans. Those would be the hut dwellers, a demon warned you about. Look to be fangs of Galloway, or who were their twitchiest of the lot. They go ruin to ruin, looking for fights with the colonists. Poor Emma. I think he half expected this once we lost the main road. The Glanfans said we trespassed in the ruins. I don't believe that. Odemo would never allow it. But as much as the fangs are hotheads, clan fathans don't attack without being provoked. Either they saw something and got the wrong idea, or... Or there's looters in here with us. That's not something we need right now. Don't seem too upset about all this. Kalisha looks you in the eye, a volatile current running beneath her voice. Maybe you just don't know me enough to know what upset looks like. Maybe I've seen worse, too. Seen worse and kept on walking, because there's nothing else to be done. There's nothing. If there's other. And because there's other people who care about who still need you. Let's get going. Keep with the sneaking. Uh, all right. Um. Don't want to change this formation a little bit. Let's go single file. And map. Uh, Yeah, I like that a little bitter. Look at the tiles. What are those symbols? What the f? <clears throat> Maybe a clue about their meaning nearby. I don't want to walk across those right now. Just like the tiles. A symbol of a patterned circle is inscribed on this pillar. An unlit brazier sits at its base. It could be lit if you had the means. Huh. Okay. Oh, I see your body. Let's check here. It's got a bunch of shit. That's good. Um. All right. An Anguithin relief gem. Okay. <clears throat> In a journal. Small folio. Can't believe my luck. A few rounds of dice, and I've got my hands on a genuine Anguithin artifact. The fellow who had it said it was pretty as a pretty nothing as far as he's concerned. He's not willing to go digging in some ruins. But if he's right about this gem leading to a hidden treasure, then it's worth sneaking past a few painted elves. I'll head to Silant Killant Silant Lease in the morning. <clears throat> That's just a matter about finding the relief he was talking about. Okay, we have a thing. Hear that? Wait, do you hear that? See a dude, a scalder whelp? Yeah. What you need? Um hmm? Hold on a second. Dude, can you use arrows? Hidden, what are you? Um he's a first level rogue. Why don't we give him like a bow then? Hey homie. Uh your weapon set number two. Hunting bow, 12 to 18 damage. What does crossbow do? 20 to 28, nice. Okay. Battle axe, 13 to 19. Yeah, okay, that's crappy. And I don't have a sword anymore. Right. Let's grab that guy. <laughs> I'm glad I... Glad I did that. Um... What you need? So you... How do we swap weapons? Hmm. Hmm? We'll blinding strike that guy. What's okay. Need? Combat starts. Uh, let's go hmm. beat him up. <laughs> He's blinded. I like it. 
Oh, that's less good. What is going on here? Um. What you need? Hmm. Stunned. Hmm. Okay, that was bad. What you need? Huh. Right. Huh. Cool. Uh, scalder meat. I like it. Hmm. I'll give that to you. I'll be quiet. Ah. Uh, Take a, a look at the wall. Door. Think we could get through? A crack runs along this wall from floor to ceiling. A light gust of air passes through it. Despite the damage, the stones look heavy and solid. Uh. You push with all the might. And the crack finally begins to spread. Finally, a field ancient mason will give way. The wall crashes down, revealing a circular room in the head. They'll never know I'm here. I could scout ahead. See what's around the corner. Yeah, too late about that. Hmm? Hmm. How can I help? See what's around the there. corner. What are we dealing with here? Got two scalders. Hmm. Um, what you need? Hmm? How about we blind this guy? Huh? What you need? Crap. Um, let's knock down. Yeah. Let's board up. Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Flee! Run away! <laughs> I love that Hewitt basically job is just to flee whenever he possibly can. This is great. We grab knives. <laughs> Alright, bail! That's awesome. <laughs> oh, this game's great. Stay quiet. What? How did I not notice this guy? A trembling, sickly creature emerges from the dark, clutching a spear. Knobby elbows and thin ribs th show through its scaly flesh. We recognize it as a Zorip. God damn it, game. It watches you cautiously, breathing in ragged sighs. Um. Let's give it some meat. The Zarep's nostrils flare at the scent of fresh meat, and its eyes dart between you and the food. It creeps toward the prize, shoving the spear into your grip and snatching the meat with both hands at the last moment. Its collar quivers. Its collar quivers as it devours the flesh in noisy chomps. We gained a friend and a sword or er, spear. Okay, that's better than my thing right now. This is good. That's is good. Um, hide armor, dry wood clothing, whatever. Let's talk to him. Alright, he's just gonna hang out and be a bro. I like it. Some more bows and lockpicks. Be quiet. Zara can see us, it's fine. Uh, got a scalder ear. Don't know what that's good for. Stay quiet. I check this, right? Yes. Okay, what's this place? Should I rest here? Gather my party before venturing forth? Stay quiet. After coming through that wall, I don't hear any sign of that storm either. Hmm. How can I help? Spider. Um. Let's approach cautiously. Uh, let's blind the back guy if we can. You can bore up, and you will knock him down. What you need? Uh, whoops. I want you to combat you. Dead, alright. Target, dead. Easy fight, mm -hmm. I like it. Let's 
Stay quiet. Okay, we're on the other side of this thing. I really don't want to stand on any of that. We'll come back to it. How's everybody doing? Not too bad. Oh, got some fatigue. Um, where does it say if they're fatigued? Yeah, we should probably go rest somewhere. Let's hang out here? No camping supplies. Okay. Stay quiet. Okie dokie. Um, you, sir, blinding shots. You, my dear. Beast mode. Please. Hmm. What are you doing? Shit. Knock it down, please. All right, good. Oh, the pain is real. Sure. Flee! Yeah, it's okay. Uh, she's got nothing left. I got no spells left. Never mind, we did it. What do we got here? A spear or spider leg? What? Another spear? Oh, just uh, more stuff. Bats as large as chickens are struck in the web. Uh, what's this? Oh, no, I don't want... No, I didn't want to leave yet. Where am I? No, back in. I'm not done exploding. Ooh, rapier, cool. And... Uh, hmm. You, sir. Where'd that rapier go? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Maybe I should go out there? Oh no, Slant Lees is... Okay, interesting. That's a place I know I should go to. Let's see, we haven't explored over this side yet. Oh, I want to rest, but... I can't. I can't campfire. Steady does it. We should move. Someone else has been here. We should move on. But I want a campfire. Torch. Small shield. Getting filled up here. Ah, camping supplies. There we go. Okay, this is good. Let us take a nap. Camping will use one set of camping supplies. Yes, let's rest. This is the fire channel. Pillar of Eternity's fire channel. All right, my dudes are up to snuff once again. I like this camping supplies mechanic actually. Um. Do I like the camping supplies mechanic? I think I like the camping supplies mechanic. Eight hours have passed. What's going on over here? A lesser black ooze. They're all oozed up. Two oozes. How can I help? Okay. You. What you need? Give him the squish, mm. and we shall. How can I help? What's this? What you need? Blinding strike. Okay. Yeah. What's that? What's that <laughs> muck on the wall? Nice. You. Love the smell of ooze in the morning. Ooze plasma. Ooh, got a pole axe. Cool. More ooze bullshits. 
viscous and oily, thick muc a thick muck clungs to anything it touches. A viscous slick of something dark and tar-like runs down the wall. The shapes and bulges in the ooze suggest that something lies beneath it, but you can't tell. Clean it off. You rinse the ooze away, revealing an intricate relief of a man's face. The sun bursts around it, it has chipped away in places, but the details of his head, from the tight curls of hair to the ridges of his pointy ears, still showcase remarkable craftsmanship. One eye socket is empty, a gem fills the other. Place the gem in the eye socket. The chamber again begins to rumble, stray rocks dancing across the tile floor. Finally, a large section of the wall gives way. Sick. Hmm? Uh, looks like an enemy, though. Hmm? Battle. Uh, let's bore mode. Squish. Cool. Found a thing. How can I help? You can get the f out of the way, Hayden. Uh, got some boost plasma. Can we go in here? Ah, there's a thing. Ooh, a minor cloak of protection. Some amethyst, some adra. Cool. Okay, so who do I want the cloak to go on to? Um, endurance is 43. DR of 6. She's got DR of 7, he is of 6. Um, let me give the cloak to this man here. Just increases some defenses. Sure. Always protect yourself. Alright. How do we do with these things? Let me look at this for a minute. Hmm. Uh. Mm hmm. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Alrighty. Um, let's not do that. Uh, let's try doing some stuff over here. Use the torch. Be quiet. Slate all these. I mean, these are... Oh, I see now. Okay. Interesting. Huh. Huh. Hmm? Wish I could... Yeah. Make these guys what do things need? at the same time. Yeah. How can I help? Hey, Odin, you jerk. What you need? How can I help? What you need? All right. Well, you know, at least the the old instincts are How still correct. This thing is, was a good thing to avoid. Um, we did end up doing so, and now we're very sad. That's fine. Things should work out eventually. Um, anything else I want to check out? I don't think so. I got a door down here. I didn't check. They'll never know I'm here. Stealth up here. Got a hat. Um, all right, who's getting the hat? Yeah. Yeah, check out that sick hat, man. Looking forward to the time when I have a bunch of dumb armor on everyone. It'd be great. I want to camp? I don't think so. I think we'll bail. Okay. Looks like it's daytime, and some shit's happening. Older road man. Four figures stand silhouetted before an otherworldly apparatus, an ancient structure of chiseled adra and metallic veins, inscrutable and ominous and looming like a silent observer. Standing motionless in the midst of what it is... Standing motionless in their midst is what appears to be a human body, colorless as stone or ash. The other figures gaze upon it with what might be contemplation. From your vantage point, you are well obscured from their view. The face of one of the figures is distantly visible, framed by long tendrils of oily gray hair, tinged dark at the ends with a thick beard that seems to obscure all trace of emotion. His faded robes are embroidered with runic language unlike anything you've ever seen, and his head is crowned with a strange black headdress with two protrusions jutting out, one on either side like the wings of some profane and malevolent creature. 
Oathbinder, bear witness, and see this man has kept his word true to his last breath, full to his blood's last drop. Guide his soul, queen that was, and regard it among your favored. Let his life by the key be his confession. Let his death by the key be his absolution. May he walk the world ever free of the crushing weight of the book. Your okay. brother has done his part, and you have seen the power of his contribution. I will accept no further hesitation from the rest of you. In the sight of the queen that was, will you fulfill the oath? Will you take your place beside your brother in the endless esteem of her memory that is without flaw? Step forth and be assured of the great worth of your life's course. What? What? <clears throat> For an instant, the apparatus goes quiet and the air is still. Then, all at once, it erupts with a concussive surge. Light floods your vision and you are knocked to the ground. Your head snaps back as you land and pain wells into the back of your skull, washing your last thoughts away into the black, unconscious void. You open your eyes to a different place, another time. You stand in a circular room, grand and domed, its walls lined with adra and tim trimmed with copper. The style is ancient, but the chamber is unweathered. At the far end of a great pillar of adra pierces the floor from below like a ragged spike, its shimmering texture giving the illusion of boundless depth. Encircling the pillar is an apparatus much like the one you have just seen, but immense and multifaceted and intertwined, the work, perhaps, of a prodigious but fevered mind. Your thoughts are yours and not yours, and they seem to exist <clears throat> before you think them, and they are all questions. Pressing questions. Struggling, troubling questions. Questions that must be answered, or... or... At the base of the pillar now, you see a man with a thick grey beard and ceremonial robe. His oily hair tucked beneath a black cowl and a strange ornamental headdress. You know this man. You're walking towards him now at a pace that is hurried while trying not to appear so. You have something you want to ask him, one question above all, and the question spins madly in your mind. What is your name? What? Are we all dead? You awaken to find your malaise is broken, only to be replaced with something far more concerning. Faint whispers are audible at the edge of your hearing, like a ringing in your ears that does not subside. Movement flits through your periphery, but when you turn to look, you can see no sign of whatever it was. You find your gaze regularly darting this way and that, an inv inv involuntary, involuntary paranoid tick. If this is a sickness, it may be dangerous to go without treatment for long. The figures at the machine stand frozen in place, flesh and blood replaced by cinders and ash. The man who led them is nowhere to be seen. Hayden and Kalisha lie bloody on the uneven cobbles. Their bodies twisted unnaturally in death. Oh my god, no! You're alone and far from help. Gilded Veil may be your best hope of receiving treatment before things get worse. No! No, my buddies. No! Oh, god damn it. Ah, uh, my friends. Well, time to loot their bodies. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, right. All right. Loot. What do I want? I want that. Lock picks. All of them. Um, what to get rid of? Probably want to keep a torch with me. The clothing. Torch. All the lock picks. Another health potion thinger. Um, hmm. Can't move now. I can't, can't move. My balls are too large. Medium shields, eh. The rapier. 13 to 19 pierce with the Zarep spear. No, that should be good. Okay. What, where's my... Is that the scale? Please look. Hide armor. No. How do you drop stuff? 
There, we have a piglet now. Um, where's that the scale armor? No. I can enchant stuff. How do I drop things to the ground? Why won't it let me do things? Um, Piglet! Hi, buddy. Where'd that scale armor go? Uh... Hello? Hello, this is Dog. Did I drop something? Yes, I know, that's Piglet. I'm running around naked. This is what this game has brought... Ah, it's my stash. Okay. Interesting. Okay, that's an interesting mechanic. Um, if that's the case, we'll just teleport everything to our stash. Oh man, it's fine. We've got lots of lots of movement. Uh, how about we bail? Does that sound good? What the f? I don't like where this is going already. Piglet, please help me. Piglet, please help. Steady does it. Oh, I can level up. Hold on now. Hold on a second. Um, how does I level up? Don't own the stronghold. Bong. Did I break it? Ah, here we are. Okay, skills. Skills allow you char your character to perform specialized actions. Um, probably want some lore. Interesting. Maybe mechanics and survival. I got two more points to dump. Um. Hmm. Ooh, having a point in athletics is really good. Lore is good. I don't know what's good. We'll just pick everything. No new class unlocks. Uh, talents. Holy butts, this is a lot of... Uh, weapon focuses. Okay, okay. Interesting. Druid's knowledge of the forces of nature allows him or her to automatically inflict additional burn damage. Ooh, interesting. Ah, okay, I can do different elemental stuff. Um, trains the character new defensive strategies, increasing his or her engagement limit by one. I don't know what engagement is. I kind of... Okay, that's not true. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Um, Bull's will. Weapon and shield style. Hmm... Wound biting. Ooh, that's pretty good. Um, moving faster is also pretty good. Um, this gives me accuracy of stuff. I don't need to worry about that that much. Um, hold the line seems pretty good. Weapon of shield style seems pretty good. We could start going, like, you know, do the Corrode Strike and then Spirit of Decay. Uh, I'm going to go Fast Runner first. Seems like a good utility spell. Interesting. Nice and slow. Vessel Flesh. Vessel Flesh. Now what? Great. Somebody burning at the stake. Hi there. Keeping quiet. The massive structure is formed of stone, adder, and copper, and covered in strange glyphs. The air around it vibrates with an unusual energy. Steady we gotta drop the base. It's crown. Come on, piglet. Let's get the f out of here. 
Oh, oh, I see a flower. I see a flower, I must have it. Away! Um. I want to go to Guild Vale? I guess? Let's go to Valewood. Let's try that first. We escaped Silahad Lee. Whatever the heck happened there. That was interesting and creepy and mostly some interesting. Rest. Use some rest. Buddy, I know. Folks, we're in the bail. Don't know what's going to happen now. But me and the piglet, we're going to figure it out. Um, thanks for joining me. The boar man welcomes you and uh, wishes you well. See you guys in the next video. See you soon.